Thank you very much to the organisers for inviting me here. I've got some things that perhaps aren't easy to say and, and probably are very easy to hear. It's very hard to talk about peace in 2023 because hatred, bitterness and fury are on the rise. But I want to point out that Quakers are about a better life for everyone. And I'm here with my poster, which Lorna is holding, which I uh, used in 1991. And I've used it many, many times over the years at decades, decades of vigils and demonstrations. And it says peace. It says salam, shalom, peace. That's what it says, and that's what we're about. I am a local girl, old lady now, but I did go to school here, Puddletown Secondary Modern, and then in 1981, I went to work in Gaza. And doing that, and working there, I got to know the area really, really well in those years. And I've met some very courageous people. They are the young Israelis who refuse to fight in the IDF and face imprisonment as a result. They are the Palestinians in Gaza I met in the early 90s who said, this kibbutz is our new neighbour, we must visit them. They are the many thousands of Palestinians and Israelis who tried so hard to build a peaceful future together acknowledging mistakes of the past and working towards a future, and many have lost their lives trying. We have to remind ourselves that war is failure. We are not given the gift of life which we all enjoy in order to organize and kill one another. So today in 2023, we must express our outrage at the unwillingness of nation state actors to prevent Israel from bombing Gaza. You cannot bomb an idea. Bombing creates more hatred. Our outrage here today and across the country and across many countries creates pressure on Palestinians to demand a ceasefire and to start working for peace again. Now I am a member of UNITE and I'm a proud trade unionist as well as a Quaker and I have a special message for all my fellow trade unionists working in the arms industry. Do you know, comrades, that the weapons you make are used by Israelis to kill Palestinians in the occupied Palestinian territories in Gaza? You and the UK government are complicit in this slaughter. I beg you, comrades, organise in the arms industry to convert your fine engineering and design skills to make things that make a world a better place for everyone. This has been said before, of course, because we must all beat our swords into plowshares and spears into pruning hooks. Most of us here today have witnessed the end of apartheid in South Africa and the Good Friday Agreement in Northern Ireland, and some of us were part of those struggles. Imperfect as they are, life is messy, but violence and killing is way, way worse. Give your children and grandchildren the best gift of all and work for an end to injustice and peace for everyone. Don't lose heart. Take courage. Wherever there is violence, there are always people working for peace. Thank you.